Before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, like, comment, and tell your friends about it. I would really appreciate it and it helps me so much. Here we go. Light Yagami is a very brilliant individual. Even though it was never stated in the manga or anime, we can infer that he possesses an IQ high enough to consider him a genius. People with high intellect tend to have fewer friends and socialize quite less than others. In the case of Light, he is shown to be popular and handsome in school. However, his mentality changed after he encountered a book that would change his life, social status, and would trigger a drastic change in his mental state. A book called The Death Note that either corrupted him or brought the real light to life, as it gave him the power to take a person's life just writing the name of said person in it. So in this video, we're going to make a quick study on Light Yagami's mental health. With such power, it would be easy to feel superior, but I think Light showed symptoms of mental illness during his quest for supremacy. Like I mentioned before, Light was popular in school before he acquired the Death Note. Nevertheless, he became focused on his strong sense of justice, using the book to cleanse the world of criminals becoming the god of the new world. This empowerment consumed Light and he became obsessed, manipulative, and arrogant. He presents symptoms of antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, a mental disorder that makes people unable to distinguish right and wrong and they disregard others' feelings. Light manipulates everything around him, being very calculative, planning scenarios where only he can be the victor. He lacks guilt, he is narcissistic, and doesn't feel empathy. Light doesn't have any emotional attachment, even going as far as considering killing his own father, so he doesn't get caught. He engaged with Misa because she also had a death note in her possession and threatened Light to kill anyone if he refuses to date her. Light is not an aggressive person, but a calm and very reserved man, a callous but charming soul, an idealist, a man that's willing to go as far as needed to defend his justice, and in the process goes from a guy trying to do good by ridding the rotten world of crime to a serial killer getting rid of people opposing him, innocent people. Light's symptoms were dormant up until the Death Note's arrival into his life. The book gave him power and made him into an unstoppable force that was centered and applying his definition of justice. During his crusade, Light killed many guilty people. However, it was the death of Naomi Misora, an innocent but smart detective that had evidence proving that Light is actually Kira, a girl that lost her fiancé to Kira's doings. That was the point of no return for Light. Kira completely took over Light's main persona, the moment where he became a pseudonym used by him to kill people. All of these seem to indicate that Light suffers from split personality disorder. Yet, I disagree, as it is very evident that Kira is really Light's true identity that was sleeping, waiting to emerge. A clear example of Light's changing forever is when Light loses his dad, and he doesn't even care. If Light would have lost his father before the death note, I am pretty sure that he would have mourned his death a little more. Still, the Light Yagami that existed prior to the death note was buried within Kira's mind. The visual entertainment medium is very vast. There are books, TV shows, movies, comic books, manga, etc. They are made to entertain and sometimes teach something to people that are consuming this entertainment. And because of that, sometimes facts are a little exaggerated to serve the purpose of entertaining. Death Note, as many other anime series, doesn't tackle mental health directly. Nonetheless, it presents enough information to make a case study on several characters and their actions that can be mirrored in real life and compared to real situations with a touch of fiction. Light's case is an interesting one. It's the story of a kid trying to do good with his newfound godly tools, but he ultimately falls to, to his humanity, as all humans are not perfect. We all make mistakes, 
Kira was eventually beaten and died knowing that he was not that god, but just a human. So, what do you think about Light? Which one do you think is the main persona, Light or Kira? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching.